Monkey Biscuits, and today we're going to be mapping out the pentatonic scale all over the fretboard, or at least the way I like to see it. So instead of seeing these five boxes, really we're going to be seeing three boxes and then two extension boxes. So let's be in G minor pentatonic today. Here is G on the third fret of string SACE. Okay, um, and let's build box one. So again, this is the thickest string. That's your low E. That's your E, A, D, G, B, and E. Okay, so. That's G minor pentatonic box one. Okay, great. Now, instead of building all of box two, I, nobody really uses these thicker three strings down here. Can you? Sure. But what you're going to want to do is actually go up to the third string and then slide. Instead of going to this D on the second string, we're going to put it here. And then you play this note. And then we move this G here. And then we add one extra note like yay. So this is our extension box for pentatonic. So I kind of see all of this as like box one and a half. That's like the main area that I'm going to be playing in. And then there's one other little extension box on the other side, which is here. Okay? In, we move this B flat here, and then we add this extra F down here. So I like to improvise primarily in this area, and most of the classic rock and blues greats, this is usually where they are. All right, so we've done all of box one and a half plus this little uh, extension over here. Now let's go to box uh, four, our summer home. We call this our home box because this is where we live about 70% of the year. And then we're gonna go to our summer home about 30% of the year, our nice summer home up in Cape Cod or uh, in Hawaii or uh, wherever you want to go. Greg Howe taught me that concept of home and summer home. So this starts with the root on the fifth string. So here's our root G on the third fret of string six for G minor pentatonic. Now we're gonna go to the 10th fret, uh, three, five, seven, nine, 10. That's our root for the summer home box. And now you just want to memorize this shape. Okay, voila, we have home, summer home. From here, there's a little, um, a little box five extension. I tend to like to use actually all of box five, um, but it's it's fairly common to, for people to just use this. Now this little extension here actually is this, because then we're up to our next octave. So you got your summer home, plus I like to add these extra two little notes uh, up here at that, at that point right there. Maybe this guy. Okay, our little extension. Our little extenderino! If you wanted to add these two notes right here, well, check this out. This is actually box one all over again. So box four extended, I'm sorry, Summer home, extensions, summer home, extension, boom, box one is right there. You basically have your entire fretboard. So these are the two main areas that I would focus on improvising in, playing solos, uh, songwriting, pentatonic melodies. Focus on getting creative in these 
two primary areas before you do anything else. And honestly, that's really all you need to know. If you never use anything here or anything up here or anything down here, doesn't matter. This covers uh, everything to be as creative and expressive as, as you really need to be. Previously, we mapped out the pentatonic scale with uh, our home and its extensions and the summer home box, box and its extension. Well, now what we're going to do is we're just going to add the blue note to all of these. So what is it? It's going to be the flat five, which in this case is C sharp. Okay. So we're going to mark all of our C sharps, our flat five in blue. Boom. There's one. Boom. There's one. Boom. There's one. So once we add in, we can also add one here, but I don't really use it. Those are the primary places I'm going to use it. Once we have these um, in place, I now see my extension boxes a little bit differently. I now see this extension box like that. this as, as part of that. Um, when I have the flat five, I always want to include the note below it. Uh, and, and then I also am now seeing this as my full extension box with this, because I like to play with um, not just this and all of this, but when I add the blue note, I like to add this note there as well. Finally, um, let's go ahead and fill in box three. That's the other box that I really like to use. Um, so starting from here, here's our box three, boom, boom, and boom. We already have everything else filled in because of what we had before. And then we get this guy added here, and that's really it. So now you have one more cool little box uh, to use. Oh, wait a second. Yeah, right there. So that's, uh, this is another neat little area to play in for box three. So the sequences that we're using are our primary sequences. We're starting here and then we move into this extension box and then we do sequences in this box and then we do sequences in this box and then we do sequences here and that's it. Those are your four primary areas. So again, you have your home and your summer home and those extensions, those are the two main areas. Um, and then I like to add this as kind of my third area once my home and my summer home is really, really comfortable and complete. But I wouldn't mess with any of this until you feel really good about the home and the summer home. Box one and its extensions, box four and its extensions, and then box three. Okay. Sorry. So let's say that again. We have box one of the blue scale or G minor pentatonic plus the blue note. Uh, and then box two extensions, box three complete, summer home box four complete, plus box five extensions, okay? So essentially everything we've left out are the lower three strings of box two and box five.